game four, Mavs versus Heat. I'm going to bring up basketball reference. 2011 NBA Finals, so we can see um, where we were at here. So, Game 1, the Heat won. Game 2, the Mavs won. And Game 3, the Heat won. <clears throat> so, the Heat are going into this game up 2-1. Okay? Let's go. Whatever it is you're doing, it can't be a weak link. He ain't letting us lose tonight. Not tonight. It is a primal game. Man, we're set for game four, Spanish language version of tonight's game presented by ESPN Deportes. Use the SAP button on your television. Rick Carlisle saying stay the course. A big message to his team. Stay with what's got us here. But he did make the change. J.J. Barea in the starting lineup. He's come off the bench in the entire playoffs. Only started two games in the regular season. Jeff By the way, I'm just going to say who's just on the court for the Mavs. Um, because, you know, a lot of people try to downplay the Mavs, right? Defensive player of the year, Tyson Chandler. Hall of Famer, one of the best point guards in the history of the NBA, Jason Kidd. Um, Sean Marion, uh, all-star. Great player on the Suns, a Mavs, you know, champion. And then Dirk, one of the greatest power forwards ever. I think he's top three all time. I think um, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, and him. But, so that's just who's, that's who's on the floor right now. And J.J. Barea, who, uh, you know, solid bench player for 2011 NBA. Um, and let's see who the Heat have out here. Joel Anthony. Joel Anthony. That's who's out here, dude. That's who's who's guarding Dirk right now. For the well, I think they want to get nice, yeah. Joel Anthony's gonna fucking stop Dirk, right? This is a better matchup than playing two small guards and Berea and Terry together, putting Stevenson as the next defender on either Wade or James. Really, Berea can have more of an impact defensively. You see early on, picking up Mike Bibby full court. Bosch has it. Gets inside. Blocked from behind by Kidd. Dallas talked about getting off to a good start and not falling behind by double figures, something they've done in every game in the series. Nowitzki, two for two. Hey, Joel Anthony, good fucking job, buddy. Good fucking job, bud. And a whistle and a foul. Berea a little extra aggressive. By the way, the Mavs beat the defending champion Lakers who won in 2010, swept them. Um, the They also beat uh, the Thunder with KD. Um, they also beat the uh, Portland Trailblazers. So they are in no way a Mickey Mouse team. They definitely are a great team. Good defensive start for Dallas. Perea has only shot 22% from the field in this series. That's a big part of the early playoff success. Nowitzki, three for three to start. I'll tell you what, that jump shot is not fair. That type of arc on a jump shot is just not fair. Get ready with your schemes for that, brother man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough deal right there. I mean, this is what is this offense? What the fuck is this offense? What are you like? The coaching on the Heat side was very bad, very, very, very bad. Execution, everything was bad on the Heat's end. It's almost unheard of to ask for more from a guy who's doing so much, but I really think he's got to set the tone like he has in the first quarter of aggressiveness, and I like this switch putting kid on James early and Marion's link on Wade. Bosch misses. Tipped out nicely by Anthony. And Bosch comes right back and knocks it down. See, and Nowitzki can't leak out. You, you say him do more? Yeah. 
you got to contest and then come back and rebound as well. Berea to Nowitzki. Even Nowitzki said he puts up another shot way off. Chandler back and Bibby comes away. He says everybody needs to do something out of character. Scrambling on defense, helping out of the boards as Bibby misfires. Things perhaps you don't normally do that you're not known for. Anything here in the finals. Jason Q was up 38 in this game. Don't listen to the chat, please. <clears throat> oh, great play from James with the left hand. Miami defense, of course, has been one of the keys throughout their run. Dallas in the first three rounds of the playoffs averaged almost 100 a game in this series, just over 88. About 11 and a half points less. Anthony gets inside, can't finish, gets another rebound, puts it back up. That won't go. And Chandler the board. I like the pace of the Dallas Mavericks right now. You know, now. if you know anything about basketball, saying Jason Kidd being 35 or 36 or whatever you're saying his age was, it's irrelevant. He was never an athletic, like, dunker, fucking slashing player. Um, he's a very skilled, high IQ passer. So, and he's a good shooter. That doesn't require you to be fucking crazy athletic. So saying his age doesn't matter if he was 33, 34, or 38, bro. He's he's Jason Kidd, bro. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking. I, trying to act like Jason... Dude, again, this Mavs team made it to the finals. Swept the defending champion Lakers with Kobe, bro. You're acting like Jason Kidd is a scrub. You don't know basketball. You're a little kid, bro. That's it. Like, this is a Hall of Famer. Like, I, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, I would have much rather have Jason Kidd than fucking Mike Bibby, bro. Like, what are you saying? They won this matchup. Pushing the basketball, getting stops and running. Good long outlet pass. Miami, one for eight to start. Bibby bumps Berea. John Marion giving an open look and rushed it. Chandler's tip on go, trying a second one. And Bibby trying to come up with it. See, and that's where they need more scoring from others. Marion a good shot. Chandler has a chance. No, the fact that it's been... Just doesn't put it in. The fact that it's been four minutes, and how many looks has LeBron gotten? He's got the ball, right? He's making good passes. How many looks has LeBron really got to go score? He, he None. I mean, he's made, he's got the ball twice, and he's passed the ball twice and got two assists. I I don't see where I'm I'm gonna we're gonna really analyze this, bro. We're gonna really analyze this. By the way, they're up two one. LeBron playing great in the first three games. Coach is talking about your last line of defense is securing the basketball. If you do a great job for 23 seconds and then you give up this type of offensive rebound, it saps the energy of your entire defense. And that's clearly a good goal. Game three, they had 12 offensive rebounds. So big offensive boards in their two games only had six in their game two loss. Berea to Nowitzki. Nowitzki double teamed and had to shoot it with the shot clock winding down. Go, Brom. Go, Brom. in game three. Not a big scoring game, just 17 points. As Wade took over with the scoring. James, tough shot. That won't go. Chandler the rebound. Chandler already with three boards. Dallas actually good D. Good defense. In game three. I mean, it's good D. Fires away. He has really been struggling shooting the ball in this series. Now from three-point range, just one for nine. Again, no defensive scheme. He, LeBron's just driving with two people on him. Like, it's not a good shot. It's not a good shot. Those are the shots he hit earlier in the playoffs. Bosch misfires. Wade again with a rebound. Oh, Wade. Again, LeBron. In this series, almost nine rebounds a game. And Chandler is fouled by Bibby. This kid tried to lob it into him. LeBron, bro, making good passes. 
making good passes. Good step through, going off the wrong foot. Good use of his body, and then the left hand finish. Very nice. You know, and it's an insult to, uh, you know, everybody who's under six foot, um, including me, most of you guys statistically, that you guys all shit on J.J. Barea. Like, oh, yeah, J.J. Barea. Like, act like downplaying J.J. Barea. Look at this guy, dude. He's in the fucking NBA. And look at the move. Look at this shit. Good pick and roll. Look at this shit. Barea, Boom. Step through, Boom. The wrong foot. Look at this. You know how difficult Good that is? Nice. Bro, you, we should be celebrating J.J. Barea. Not using it as an insult to LeBron. Oh, dude, J.J. Barea. Like, what? We should be celebrating, dude. The dude's under six foot in the NBA. Doing crazy shit. He's a champion. I mean, I'm going to celebrate him. I'm going to celebrate him, dude. Under six foot. I'm celebrating, dude. You know, Dallas has good energy right now on offense and defense. And zero energy on the board right now. <laughs> this shot reminds me of... Um, you remember that uh, that clip of um, Blake Griffin on the, on the Clippers? And there was like a guy... Um, like one of the like the staff members and then he was like uh, massaging him or like using like the thing on like his leg or something and he grabbed the guy's head and like sh shoved it into his shit oh fuck I don't know why that just reminded me of this and, and they have to put all <clears throat> stages of the game energy wise into it to be able to win they're being out rebounded by five already Jason Terry has come in Mario Chalmers from Miami Kick track, quick pass, and that's the third Dallas turnover. Turnovers a big problem against this Miami team. We've talked about it throughout the playoffs as they convert normally turnovers into points. Five. You know, nice cross over move, but he stepped out of bounds. I it's so crazy watching this pace. It was just a slower game. Um which I think required more skill. I think it required better footwork, skill, defense, uh, you know, and I'm not going to try to compare, like, oh, it's easier now or easier then or anything like that. I'm saying this level, this, um, this pace was very, like, every possession counted. Now... Teams come back down 10 plus all the fucking time um, because possessions just don't matter as much. If you had a turnover back then, it's like, oh, fuck, dude, what the fuck? Um, no, I think what's going to happen is soon, it's going to be within the next few years, we're going to, we're going to label like Jordan's era, era is going to be in the same breath as like, uh, you know, the fucking 60s, 50s, 70s, like 80, like it's going to be like that level of competition was nowhere near it is in the 2000 plus it's just nowhere near bro when jordan played and before the competition is nowhere near how it is from the 2000s on bro it's just not bro cash you know last person to call someone stupid bro you're Australian and you're a Warriors fan, bro. That's the definition of bandwagon. You're literally Australian. But these are half-hearted blockouts. Joel Anthony is going to the board. Dwayne Wade is going to the board. Put full-body blockouts on this guy. You better hit him hard. It can't be tapping him. Uh, you're Rick Carlisle. You're probably thinking right now, what else do I have to do? Because I'm sure he's preached the message to them that if they continue to rebound like that, they're going home. Chandler on a nice setup from Jason Terry. 
quickly the other way. Kane throws it ahead to Wade, who got fouled. Wisely put it up at the basket. And Wade will go to the free throw line. Nice execution from Jason Terry the other end. Good job. Pick and roll. We talk about Jason Terry in those situations. It's not about scoring. It's about making the play. Delivers the on-point pass to Tyson Chandler. And I love the way that Tyson Chandler looked. Had one mindset. Attack the basket and finishes over LeBron. The way to the line. A lot of talk about Dwayne Wade and his big practice before game three on Saturday in here in Dallas after they had that heartbreaking loss in game two. Wade apparently went to practice like he was the last guy on the roster. I mean, all out, diving, playing hard, even surprised some of his teammates. And he didn't say much about it, just wanted to send the message, hey, we need to get going here. And Coach would agree, there's certain times where your best player has invested so much in games that he takes it easy. And you as a coach say, okay, take off today or, or take a breather. But there's some times when he's got to be the best player with energy, effort, and send a message to the entire troop. Well, he was the best player. Brian Cardinal is in, puts up a three, and it won't go. Cardinal coming in instead of Peja Stojakovic, who has really been struggling. So another change from Rick Carlisle as Cardinal throws it out of bounds. Arnold has only played eight total minutes in these playoffs. Donald Sisson. <laughs> He's on to his business, but a lot of referees in the crowd tonight. Bosh. So let's break this down. Donald LeBron. Ball in the wing. <laughs> Here we go. Ready, 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 ready. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Ready? Boom, double. Boom, double team. Trap. What does he do? Finds the open man. And what happens? Incredible athleticism puts it in. Chalmers Bricks. With his left hand, phenomenal job of catching and finish. Once again, offensive rebound for Miami. Nine already, and there's still 350 to play in the first. James almost with the steal. Another offensive rebound. Instead of putting bodies on guys, if you just make this a jumping contest, you're going to lose. You got to find a way to stay connected and put a body on guys. You know, Rick Carlisle said earlier in the series that Miami's game is up in the air. Their game is on the floor. And if your game is on the floor, you better block out. Terry has to put it up, and he puts it in. Shot clock was at one. He just flipped it up of the rim. And Dallas back up by two. And they're going to look at that shot. Bosch spinning. Tried the right hand. Chandler, Chandler up. Tough job. Have the best referee team <laughs> and making proper. But we really do. Is this because you said? No question about it. Am I hearing this right? All the grief you've given me over the years, the two of you? No, but you go beyond. Oh, sure. You like. He oh. carries the torch. Yeah, beyond. <laughs> Here comes the other way. Two point Dallas lead as we come up on three minutes remaining here in the first. So, so far, so far, almost done with the first quarter. I have not seen <coughs> anything poor from LeBron. We saw one drive when he got double teamed and he missed the layup, um, but that was more of like a floater. Um, I haven't seen anything bad from LeBron yet. I'm seeing LeBron pass it to open open guys. I'm seeing LeBron pass to open guys. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing with my own eyes right now. Um he's hitting the open man, which is what he's great at. A lot of people are not good at that. A lot of people don't have good vision, bro. Um, you know, LeBron LeBron might be the best passer ever. I mean, who knows? Especially for his size.
9.8 ounces. Look at the look at the D Rose ad, bro. Like by Adidas at 9.8 ounces. It's the lightest ever. And AT&T. Damn. We came so close in 06. These are so fire these graphics. We'll get back to the stage and hopefully this year we can finish the deal. Always envision myself playing in the final. I've had one, didn't get it done. Now this is another opportunity. Nowitzki and Terry, the two remaining Mavericks still with Dallas from the 2006 loss to Miami. And after Terry struggled in the fourth quarter, Dirk Nowitzki said, hey, Jason Terry is one of the great fourth quarter players in our league, but he's not really been of a crunch time player for us the way we need him to. Some thought he was calling him out. But these two have that mm. kind of relationship Fuck. mark where they get on each other. Fucking just dropped ice on me. Years. Fuck. Well, even if you don't get along, there comes a point where you've got to stop sugarcoating it and telling the truth. Terry gets it back and a foul from behind. So it makes the adjust or as you see his numbers in Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Come on. Fourth out there, Nash. And Terry said it was brutal. Nowitzki and Nash were so close. They worked so well together. He was such a different player than Nash. It took a little while. And even though they ride each other now and will get on each other, they still have each other's back. And they'll need Terry in a big way. He's already got six points. What do you want me to analyze, bro? Now, again, you know, just an awkward play, a little turnover. Often go unnoticed. He makes this shot. But again, you know, people will forget about it. These are the type. You're just analyzing. You're 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 focusing so much on the negative. You're focusing so much. Like every player gets turnovers, bro. Everybody, dude. So the ball is released by the free throw shooter. The free throw shooter has to wait till it hits something. But everybody else on the release, James obviously went in early. Terry's got seven straight points for Dallas. They lead by three. And a foul on Deshaun Stevenson. Perhaps he thought LeBron James was acting with <laughs> on that, that play. I tell you what, if you're the Dallas Mavericks, this is how you've got to play physical. LeBron James, bang, Jason Terry. That's a clean play. Deshaun Stevenson. I'd like to see that pl be played on. We're talking about physical play in the playoffs. Well, they had a little history back when James was in Cleveland. Stevenson was with Washington. They played in the playoffs three straight years. Stevenson one year calls LeBron James overrated. <laughs> Not the smartest thing to say. They eliminated him three straight years. Haslam jumps out way off. I mean, I mean, I mean, dude. The guy drives in, gets. Look at all the people. Look at everybody coming at him, bro. Finds the open guy. Good little mid range. I mean, dude, this is a good shot. Haslam fucking bricks it off the fucking side of the backboard. And a 24 second violation. Remember back just into game three. When those drives were occurring early in the game, there were no bodies from Dallas in front of the driver. Tonight, great job with the bigs of being early to help, putting their bodies in front, and making James Wade pass the ball. Meanwhile, Nowitzki and Brendan Hayward come in. Hayward missed game two, or game three, that is, with the hip flexor. Apparently had a good practice yesterday. They missed him. Jan Mahimi, the third string center. Nice young athletic player, but not really ready for the big stage. And Hayward has given them some good moments. Terry on the drive, kicks it out, extra pass, good ball moving from Dallas, Berea gets to the basket, and misses the layup. Come on, Berea. Great offense, that's a killer miss right there. Chalmers spinning, Chalmers to the rim, he misses, but a foul. Okay, Chalmers shooting some free throws. Cutting here, going at Berea, spinning off his body, and working his way to the free throw line. Chalmers has hit some big shots. 
the uh, players and coaches, Miami, having some fun with him the other day. He's one of those guys, even though he's playing with Wade and LeBron James, he thinks the final play should be drawn up for him. He's very confident, a good young player. And as we said early, he has not backed away from big moments. A foul away from the ball. And as a coach, you like players like this because they don't know any better. They're not afraid of the moment. And that's why time and time again, when he's catching the basketball off of plays made by James and Wade. Well, this is a great champion. All right, let's go, LeBron. Where's the screen? Where are the fucking screens, bro? Why is there no screen? You watch the NBA now, right? Every fucking possession, you gotta get some fucking screens, dude. You can't just sit there and fucking go one-on-one, -on -one, bro. You just can't do it. Especially at fucking half court, dude. Seven. There we go. Comes to help. Foul the fuck out of him. Like the of course they don't like the call. No one, no one in here likes to call either. Bro just got fouled. I don't want to hear shit about flops, bro. I don't want to hear shit. Everyone in the fucking NBA sells everything. You got to sell the fouls, bro. The refs are trash, bro. You got to sell the fouls. Everyone does it. Coach, you, to me, you have every right to voice your displeasure. Those type of those type of plays to me are starting to make parts of our game a farce. It, it's happening more and more. Where is the cutoff? Slightest contact, the guys going down or flailing their arms. And that's yeah. a, I mean, but my argument would be, what do you want them to do? Not, not act. No, I want them to pay a price for acting. I want there to be a severe penalty so that every time <laughs> I go back on the film as the dean of discipline. And I watch every game and every possession. Those flagrant acts of acting, I am hammering. You can't give yourself a title. I, I can give myself. The commissioner says I can I can come to work for <laughs> Well, I'll tell you this right now. Jordan Poole will be out the fucking league in one game. So I don't, uh, yeah. Anytime. I don't know. <laughs> Both teams in the penalty with 5.5 remaining in the period. So Berea will go. Haslam <laughs> picks up his first foul. And I gave uh, the commission. Also, also, I see, you know, Curry fans. Bro, Curry, flopper, bro. Dude acts like every play. He fucking, first of all, Curry just falls to the ground after every play, bro. Every layup Curry makes is this dramatic thing where he, like, flips backwards. Tell me that's, you think every single possession, Curry is getting hit to the point where he has to fall down and do a somersault, bro? Stop, stop, bro. Stop. Please stop, bro. Go watch Curry go make. I've never seen Curry just go make a layup. Never seen it. Never seen it. A bargain. Two for one. He gets two. He gets fouled twenty-five games, twenty-five times per game, off the ball. This is what the uh, Warriors Curry fan Cassius class to say, dude. How many times do Curry's defenders get fouled on fucking illegal screens per game? I'd say it's more than twenty-five. I probably, I probably say it's. Probably double the amount of times that Curry gets fouled off the ball. Also, dude, if Curry is getting if Curry's getting fouled so much, why don't they call it? If it, if it really is a foul, right, and he's not flopping, why don't they call it? Because he is a superstar. The re the NBA loves him. Why don't they call it then? And me as why don't they call it? If you're saying it's that much, dude, you know who gets fouled more than fucking anybody is LeBron James, dude. He gets hit no matter what, and he doesn't fall down to the ground, flailing his arms, doing somersaults backwards. Every time LeBron drives, he's fouled, dude. R.I.P. Great uh, David Stern, NBA commissioner. 
LeBron gets hit every game, so I don't want to hear, oh, dude, Curry's getting hit off the ball. Yeah, guess what, dude? He's not getting hit, first of all. It's called staying attached to your man, okay? That's what it's called. If you've ever played basketball, you bumped a cutter. It's If you've ever played, you know what it is, okay? Curry, nobody's out there just two hands shoving Curry out of bounds off the ball. It's not happening, bro. It's a physical game. Don't act like LeBron is just flopping all day, bro, because he's not. Back in the day, dude, there was a huge flopping problem with the whole NBA around this time. It wasn't just LeBron. It was so, dude, so many players. And then they, they you know, whatever. I think Harden is the biggest flopper, though, in NBA history. I think Harden. Oh, CP3 is up there with Harden. CP3 is up there. Curry's up there. No, nah, I wouldn't. Nah, I just think Curry like is just is kind of like not strong. So I wouldn't even say he's like a top flopper. He does flop. Uh, oh, Embiid. Oh my God, Joel Embiid flops like fuck, dude. Joel falls on the ground every game, bro. It's not about who, it's about what we're bringing to the game, uh, our disposition, our energy. There's a couple emotional bursts that we expect, and there'll be several more of those. Um, Marcus Smart is so annoying, dude. Sports. Fuck, he's so annoying. Well, Doris, they always say their strength is their defense. Jason Kidd was talking about the Miami defense the other day, and he said, they make you do things that you don't want to do. That's a high compliment from a future Hall of Famer. As Bosh able to get it to go. And that was all set up by a forceful... And Marcus Smart just bricks, too. Like, I mean, he's just... Bosh with eight points. Terry Bakes back out to Vitsky. Again, good ball movement for Rea. That won't go. Those are the shots Dallas so desperately needs to go down. That's great offense. Moved the ball, created two on the ball. Give the ball to LeBron! Difficult catch. I mean, the dude is fucking triple team, bro. All right, here we go. Bosh on the drive and the finish. Ten points. You got Bosh right there, bro. With fucking uh, hey, uh, what's his name on him? Give the ball to Bosh. It's a good play, dude. Bosh is great. Bosh is a great player, bro. Quickly the other way and Berea. That would have been points right there, but it's a fucking clear path foul, bro. Smart foul here. The prevent would, would have been a dunk, no doubt. This is before clear paths, I think. So the previous possession where Bosch knocked down the jump shot. Now he has Brendan Haywood on his heels. And yeah, now you got Hayward Lee this. Look at this. This right to the right to the hole, bro. Right to the Bosch fucking hole by Bosch. Look at this shit. And then attacks the Bosch was good as fuck, man. Bosch, I Damn. It's, it sucks what happened to Bosch, bro. He could have kept playing, dude. Bosch could still be in the fucking league low-key, bro. Who knows? He, he, I mean, who knows, dude? James. Out to Miller. Miller for three. That time, good boxing out to Taylor. Knocks Bosch to the ground. Berea, the charge. Comes up short. He's made a number of good moves but having trouble finishing. Miller fires. That's a three. Mike Miller from downtown. And the heat up by seven. Mike Miller. And Rick Carlisle in the field by not what? So so far, we've seen a LeBron turnover. Um uh LeBron LeBron being a great passer. Um so we've seen one LeBron turnover, LeBron being a great passer. We've seen a miss, and we've seen a putback. We've seen him attack a couple times, get fouled a couple times. Um, so, so far, nothing crazy. I mean, and the Heat are winning, so. Cassius, what the fuck are you talking about? 
LeBron got triple teamed and he passed it to an open player to shoot a 15-footer, bruh. It's his fault that my that that has him shot it off the fucking side of the backboard and it broke the fucking backboard. Fuck. Get D Wade back in a fucking game. Get him back in. Whoa! Look at this. Look at that matchup, bro. Of course he got fouled. He got Chalmers on him, bro. What is this? The fuck is this? Do they even have a big on the floor? I mean, they got they got Bosch out there, but they're, bro, you got to match up better. You got two. There's two bigs out there. Fuck, man. Oh now, oh, now Joel Anthony's in. Here we go, bro. Here we fucking go, bro. Okay, so LeBron is resting, so we're going to skip to when LeBron comes back in. Okay, LeBron's back. I mean, bro, you got LeBron wide open here, bro. Make a better pass. Look at this. Bro, he would have been wide, dude. You fucking, you hit him with a little bounce right here. Or even just a little bit higher, bro. Damn. Or just hold it for a second. Maybe fake it. He's wide open. Look at this. Fuck, man. Initially, it was called Dallas and Miami's playing small for one of the few times in this series with James at the four. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at this Joel Anthony. Dude, this dude, this lineup is fucking trash, bro. And and the and the and the Heat are being fucking I mean Again, you know, Jason Kidd, really, really great IQ. Great defense by Jason Kidd. Great defender. Uh, Hall of Fame. One of the best point guards ever. I mean, he kind of baited him right here. There it is. Boom. All NBA defender for a lot of years. All NBA defender for a lot of years. Uh, but, oh, but this dude's just trash old man. That's what I hear on Twitter, at least. Look how low scoring the NBA was. It's halfway through the second. It's 34-32, bro. Fucking Joel Anthony, bro. I sort of fucking God, bro. Seven turnovers for the Heat. Well, this is a great time for the Dallas Mavericks to begin to execute offensively and try to make a run. Wade deflects it. Open corner three for Terry, but because of Wade's act have to be made. If you're gonna score, it's okay to, it's okay to say poor passing. Also, you're dirt. You got to make that play. Terry gets inside, can't finish. Ball tip. Last touch by the Heat. New Duke fan club to just to move to Novitski fan club. What he has done in this playoffs, absolutely magnificent. Look at this matchup. Ninety-four percent from the free throw line. Fifty-two percent. That's all day, bro. You got no one on the court that's guarding fucking Dirk, bro. I mean, Bosch is the only person who should be on him. 
Pass it out on the perimeter. I mean. Personal foul. <laughs> Second team foul. First on Stevenson. I mean, come on. This is a horse shot. That is a horse shot. You're playing horse in the park. That's the shot that you take to get the guy eat. Horse shot. This is Dirk, bro. He pr he's, he's probably shot this shot a million times in his life. Isolated. Horse shot. Act like that's a lucky shot, bro. He practices that shit. It's his signature move. Look at look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. Fucking horrible pass, Chalmers. Fuck. Tell you what, that was great defense. That possession by the Dallas Mavericks. Horrible, bro. Ron was clamped. What? He was wide open in the corner. Chandler tips it back out. Good deal, LeBron. Well, Mavericks now getting some second shot opportunities. Terry pull up two two pointers. Again, you got Chalmers getting fucking cooked, bro. You got Chalmers getting fucking cooked. God damn. That's a kick ball. It's a kick. Another turnover. Chalmers. Chalmers again. You fucking are ass. God damn. And then someone asked me earlier about, oh, explain 2014. Yeah, Chalmers was fucking ass. D Wade was injured. It was bad. The, the Spurs were playing amazing. But regardless, Chalmers is fucking ass, bro. Call timeout, bro. Get Chalmers the fuck out the game. Did that hit his foot or not? That did hit his foot. All right, Brian, let's go, bro. Come on, bro. This is a good matchup. This is a good matchup right here. D Wade, take it. It's a good matchup. That's a good ass matchup. See, that's a good pass by LeBron. No D Wade got Deshaun Stevenson guarding him, bro. Cook him, bro. Good good D. What? Where? What? Where? Where? As LeBron James picks up his second personal. That's a LeBron? And because of Stevenson's ability to knock down the shot. Dude, he, he hit the ball. Forces the defense Stevenson's ability to knock down the shot. And because of Stevenson's Bro, he hit the ball. He and he actually avoided his arm. Dude grazed his nostril and he fucking is acting like he just got fucking punched in the face. My God, bro. Dude got a nostril graze and is like acting like he got the shit beat out of him. Defense at times has been superb, but you have to finish it with a rebound. Their defense has been lights out for most of this series. Yeah, yeah, they're playing great fucking defense, bro. They got a great defensive team. They do. Jason Kidd, all all defense. Sean Marion, great defender. Tyson Chandler, defensive player of the fucking year. I mean, you got a great team here, bro. People act like this is a random ass, random team. Somehow they randomly were in the finals. Like, like what team gets to the NBA finals? That's like a random trash team, bro. Ridiculous, bro. Alright, let's see what we got. I mean, dude, you know, you know, for people who are sitting there being like, oh, dude, LeBron's passive. He's, dude, look what he's doing. Look at this vision, right? Perfect pinpoint pass to leads to a score. 
it doesn't matter if he makes the basket or if D Wade or Bosch makes it. If he's setting them up or he's scoring, it still counts as points, dude. I don't get this. Oh, dude, he's 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 fucking passive. How? Where was the passive? He they just scored. It's unbelievable, bro. It's unbelievable. The point of the game is to win, not score yourself. That's the point of the, the of the game is to win the game. The, the 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 Lakers tonight scored 125 points. LeBron had about 22 points. Would you say that he fucking was passive because his team scored 100 points without him? No, dude. MJ scoring 50. This film is not yet Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. In theaters July 15. This Damn, dude. I'm currently watching the Harry Potter movies right now. I'm on uh the fifth or the sixth one? I never saw the last one. Film is not yet rated. The luxury of having right now, 42-40. Forward, you see the, the cut. LeBron James Reed. Help comes, delivers the basketball. We're not going to talk about this though, right? The, the cut. Right? LeBron James Reed. We're not going to talk about Help the vision, comes. right? See, this part of LeBron's game gets overlooked. And, you know, people talk about, um, you know, oh, his bag and, you know, you know, shit like that. Like the way he scored, whatever. But dude, shit like this is how you win fucking games, dude. This is how you win games. Delivered the basketball to Joel Anthony. Now sets it up. The same exact play. Same exact cut. Help doesn't come because of Help the doesn't come. Play. Makes the proper read, drops it off to Dwayne Wade. That's playing the quarterback position and making the proper read. Yeah, let's see his let's see the pass of LeBron. 25 8.5 and 6 on almost 50% shooting, bro. Yeah. The numbers, the rebounding, the assists. He leads the team in scoring, in assists, and steals. He's second in rebounding. Almost leads him in that as well. All right, let's see. Playoff run. Regular season, but also this playoff run. Under two to play. Benches have been big for Dallas. They've outscored the Miami bench 20 to 8. Wade, quick move. Foul from behind. It still goes in. The strength of Dwayne Wade. And he's got a chance to tie it at the free throw line. Well, great spin off of Marion's body. Grab on the rim like that while the ball's holding on. I'm not going to question the referee. <laughs> so so far we're watching this right it's a tie game what do you want lebron to have done differently in the flow of this game right now like i don't i don't see anything that he did wrong yet yes he had a turnover and he got a charge um you know but he didn't do anything wrong and people are saying be more aggressive take over Dude, the game is not calling for that in this moment. Um, it's not. Now, later on, we'll see. But so far, nothing, nothing has like he hasn't had like a like a like a one-on-one -on -one and he and he like refused to do anything and then no, dude, that never happened, bro. Also, the fucking Mavs are playing a lockdown fucking defense on the whole fucking uh team, bro. No, I shouldn't say that. On basically on Chalmers. Good shot, Bosch. Big first half to Carlisle. Second Michael Wilbon. The guys preparing. We'll have some analysis of the first half. And Dirk Mentor. Oh my god. Hall of Famous. Chris Mullins standing there also. Nice. 
Taylor, meanwhile, nice inside. We better bring his game tomorrow. I'm his teammate when we're playing three on three. I know. I got one suggestion. You got him the ball. No, double me on the catch. <laughs> Wade gets around, attacks the basket, moves it back out. Chalmers, Chalmers the floater. Mario Chalmers, nice play. Every guard needs that shot against size. He took one earlier, was right on target. That one he was able to finish. Mark, the teardrop, a big part of your arsenal. That requires a lot of practice, that shot, doesn't it? A lot of times in the park, on the playground, in the gym, trying to master that shot. Davinsky drives on Anthony. Excellent defense, Joel Anthony got a piece of it. Bosch tried to save it. Shot clock did not reset, so the Mavericks will inbound with four to shoot. Boy, well, Anthony, such a good defender. That's great timing. Inbound to Kidd. Kidd left corner three. Gains the rebound. Five good rebound, LeBron. Two seconds. James throws it up at the buzzer. And that's for points. I want to talk about it. Listen, no other. Uh, and second, Rick Carlisle. Three, two. The three's two, seven, 45. They're shooting fairly. It's so crazy, like the uh, <laughs> one for eight, three point. Like they, like they just, three pointers just wasn't a focal point. In just a moment. Story in the first half for Miami. Obviously, their defense has always been good. But how about Chris Bosh once again? Hit the big shot in game three. Had been struggling before. By the way, this is the best way to listen and watch an NBA game is these guys. This is the best way. For that, the plays early down mid. Isolate screen. Jolt to the basket. Mike Gritton, one basketball game. Gritton, two degrees. Mm. He's that hand. Just asked if he could kept that towel over his head. And his numbers reflect that down the stretch of that half. Just one for seven, Mike. And meanwhile, for Miami, well, yeah, teams. So, <laughs> are we shitting on Dirk here? I mean, he's not being aggressive. Assists looking was what we're expecting of NBA playoff basketball. They need this win, and he wakes up with the flu. In a game that means as much to him as he's ever played in. Exactly. I mean, it's just. But to his credit, not trying to talk about it. Bosch misfires. Savitsky the rebound. Old school basketball says if he's on the floor, he's okay. Marion against Bosch. Marion spinning, trying to draw a foul. Shot won't go. And Bosch the rebound. Your lack of empathy is appalling. <laughs> really? Guys like picking, you're like. Why are you playing it off? You agree with me because it's totally sick. You, can't, yeah. you can't lose. I, you play great, you're a superhero. If you play bad, you got to build an excuse. I understand he's a gamer and he's, he's battling, but he's on the floor. If you play bad, you got to Get this pass, bro. I understand. Get that pass. Get that, bro. He's battling, but he's on the floor. Can't finish. Find a way to get it done. Absolutely. Great pass. Pass by James. Bosh unable to finish. Berea the other way. Berea got the start. Levitsky drives to the basket and gets hit. Point. He began yeah, I mean, it's Dirk, bro. 37 consecutive free throws. Five. And as I, good as anybody's ever done in the postseason. Biggest games, too. You look back, he did the same thing in the conference finals, too. He couldn't miss <laughs> the conference finals either. Just incredible. So he ties it up. Anthony, by the way, that's his third foul. And Haslam already has three fouls for Miami. Two of the primary defenders on the biscuit. Look at Braun. Look at Braun. James inside, nice left hand. Chandler knocks it away, out of bounds. Miami ball. James. No contact there, bro. Inside, nice left hand. Okay, bro. Chandler knocks it away, out of bounds. Miami ball. That's why you got to fucking flop, bro. You got to fucking call, bro. Dude drives in, gets fucking hit. Nothing. Like, dude, answer this question, bro. Why would LeBron miss a wide open layup? Matter of fact, why would an NBA player just in, out of nowhere miss a wide open layup, bro?
course, Joel Anthony fucking bricks. Look at Braun, dude. Fucking swing the ball, bruh. Like right here. Look at Jason Kidd. Right there, you boom, you swing it. I mean, this is just look at this. Then you get a fucking hit because you're holding it for too long, bro. Fucking Braun's wide open, bro. Swing it! Swing it, boss, you bitch! Swing it right there! Boom! Hit LeBron! God! So fucking frustrating, bro. Maybe he would have scored more than fucking eight points if people knew how to fucking play the fucking game, bro. The fuck is this? First half. Again, leads all scores with 16. Add to that one now 17. Mark, you see that view when you're at the free throw line? Fucking horseshit. You ever see that when you're shooting? You do. Now, the great shooters would tell you they don't see anything other than the rim. But that's not the truth. Wait, what do you mean? Tra Wait, what did Train say? Train is roasting you. Okay, I'm not listening to someone named Del Community is fat. I'm just not listening to that. Matter of fact, can you ban that account for like 24 hours? What did Train say, bro? Yo, ban that account, bro. Did Stan see it when he hit Thank you. Good looks. Well, good looks, good looks. The stands at the Martinez Boys Club were pretty empty <laughs> on practice days. Stan about this today. And he wasn't as confident in his abilities as I was. So I have to reconsider. So you may have embarrassed him. Marion fouled. And a foul on LeBron James, his third. Sean Marion, we talked about Bosch coming out aggressively. Marion, certainly not as many points, but he's shown when he's more aggressive offensively, can really help. Marion's a guy that did a lot of scoring in his career earlier, especially with... He's played absolutely... You show my baby. All right, let's go. LeBron. Two-point game. <laughs> let's see what we got here. I said I'll give him a message. Why? I've been very... Man, everybody's on me. <laughs> message to That's a good-ass dude. See... The, the point here is, dude, look what is actually happening. When you're saying he's being passive, he's he's not being aggressive, whatever. Bro, look what he's doing, though. Man, everybody's on. Boom. He's swinging the ball quick like no one else is doing. If Bosch, Chalmers, these other dudes were, were swinging the ball quickly, bro, that's how that's that's good passing. That's good off at least a good offense. He swings it now. Look, D Wade's got the advantage. Message delivered. Wade. Right to the. So LeBron is responsible. You say he has eight points. Fine. LeBron is responsible for at, at least twenty plus in this game, minimum, bro. Alre this is already, by the way. This is already. I'm. We're in the third quarter. Chandler looked like he may have got a piece of it. This is satire. You're a fucking idiot, bro. You're a fucking dumbass. How is this a troll? Like, literally, like, tell me how it's a troll. You say, oh, dude, he only had eight points. When he's also, okay, what if someone had 15 assists, right? And they only scored 10 points. And you'd be like, oh, dude, they suck. They only had 10 points. Uh, Dude, they only had 10 points, but they assisted 15 field goals, which equals at least 30 points if you're not counting threes. The dude, that means someone's responsible for 45 fucking points, bro. Like... My, blows my fucking mind, bro. Blows my fucking mind. 
I love how you know his, his stat line. You're like, oh, dude, he had seven assists. Like, I, I love how you know his stat line already, bro. Meanwhile, don't count the other shit where he passes it and they miss or he passes it and it's a hockey assist. Don't count that shit, though. That's fine. Even if it is seven assists, bro, that's minimum 14 points. He's he's uh, he's responsible for over 20 points. In this game, the Heat scored like about 80 points. He's responsible for a fourth of the team's points. What do you want him to do? Be responsible for half the points? 75% of the points? The fuck do you want him to do? You're we're watching the game together. Nothing that LeBron has done so far has been horrible. He's not even looked bad once, bro. One time he had a turnover. That's it. He has one turnover and a charge, bro. Nothing he's done so far has been bad. It just hasn't. Mary and I speak fluent Trixian. <laughs> the language of Sean Mary. Did you ever stop to think, hmm, maybe it's his team? Maybe the Mavs team was a better all-around fucking team? Just because you have d Wade and Bosh, but then you have a bunch of fucking scrubs on the court, which they are, okay? Charm, all these people coming in, playing with Bosh and d Wade and LeBron are ass. So yeah, dude, d Wade and Bosh and LeBron can do their thing, but if these other dudes are fucking trash as fuck, and they're getting fucking scored on, getting fucking snagged on, whatever... Come on, bro. Doing some kind of Don't give the Mavs any credit. Let's just discredit LeBron. Chandler feeds Marion. Sean Marion, the finish right on cue. Ten points for Marion. That was his total in game three. They want to chip the next year? Did they, bro? Did they? The, the Heat want to chip the next year, right? You said they want to chip the next year? Let me ask you something, dude. Did the Heat add anybody to their team? Did the Heat change their roster at all? Did they upgrade their team a little bit? I'm asking you a question, dude. Not really? <laughs> Casuals, bro. Casuals. You expose yourself. You're a fucking casual. You expose yourself, bro. You expose yourself, bro. You expose yourself, dude. You exposed. Ah, you exposed. Good play by Chandler. <sighs> James rotated to him. Did a nice job finding Marion along. <sighs> I don't know how many centers can make that Chandler. All right, Bron. Gets deflected out. <laughs> and a foul call on Chandler. He is hot. He was an All NBA. You're 40 crying over a 12-year-old game. You know what's insane about that comment is that I'm 28 years old and you're calling me 40. You're calling a 28 year old 40. I understand it's the internet. Oh, we're going to throw jokes around. When did 28 become an old age? I, I, I'm having, I'm having, I'm having difficulty um, uh, comprehending this. Second team player this year. I think that's a Why is the GOAT passing so much? MJ would never. Yeah, MJ would have already been sent home, bro. MJ would have been fucking sent home, dude. Guess what? LeBron went to the finals eight fucking years in a row, and LeBron's been in the finals ten fucking times. How many times has MJ went to the finals, bro? How many times? He went he went he went six? He went six, right? So that means LeBron went to the finals. Four more seasons than, than, than MJ, the GOAT. So explain to me, explain to me how LeBron made it further than MJ, more than MJ. But MJ's the GOAT, though. I, I, please explain that to me, bro. LeBron has four rings. He would have more if KD didn't join the fucking Warriors. And we, we already went over this. Even if it was just one more doesn't even even if it was one more bro you mean to tell me first of all LeBron, the uh, jordan has never faced any teams in the finals like lebron has faced just has not the only team that you could say is like the miami heat in 2020 um 
and this Mavs team. So that's two seasons out of the 10 finals matchups. That's two. That's it, dude. Those are the, like though like the Mavs here and the and the Heat in in 2020 are on the level of Jordan's competition in the finals. The Spurs are better than any team Kurt, uh, Jordan's ever had to play against. The Warriors are better than any team Jordan's ever had to play against. And the Thunder, with three fucking MVPs on it, is better than any Jordan team has ever had to play against in the finals. That is factual information, bro. Do with it what you want, but it's true, bro. Okay? It is true. LeBron played against three MVPs. He played against four Hall of Famers. This is who LeBron matched up with in the finals, bro. And you don't even want to count this team. You don't even want to count it, bro. This team with multiple Hall of Famers, you don't want to even count this. That's fine. Don't count it. Still, he's played better teams than Jordan, bro. Still, without counting this team, without counting the Heat, with Jimmy Butler, who's literally one of the best playoff performers we've ever literally witnessed, bro. But that's fine, dude. Ignore everything. Jordan, even even have going to less finals is somehow better than, than LeBron, somehow. LeBron also played with Hall of Famers. Yeah, and so did fucking Jordan, bro. And so did fucking Jordan. And guess what, dude? Before LeBron got any Hall of Famers on his team, he carried his team to the fucking NBA Finals. What did Jordan do before he got a Hall of Famer on his team? He got swept, bro. He fucking got first rounded. He never made it to the fucking Finals without Pippen, bro. Fuck out of here, dude. What is... What, tell me right now, dude. If, if LeBron got... A, a, a Scotty Pippen level player when he was on the Cavs, his first time in the Cavs, would he have won a finals or at least at, at least come close to a finals? Mult Dude, yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Because what happened as soon as he played with another all-star, he went to eight straight fucking finals, dude. Eight in a row without missing one year. Eight in a row. As soon as he played with another all-star, dude. That wasn't named Mo Williams. Sorry, I gotta add that in there because LeBron was so good that he actually made Mo Williams an All Star one year, and people try to act like Mo Williams. And also, whoever just said Shaq, whoever just said Shaq, you are a fucking loser, bro. If you just wrote Shaq, you are a fucking loser. Dude had one played one more season in the NBA when he played with LeBron, bro. Then he fucking retired. Dude was out of shape and obese. Strategic adjustment by Rick Carlisle. Most of the pick and rolls have been set Fucking losers, bro. Talking about Shaq. And up, Stop this, bro. Deeper penetration. Marion has their last six points. Baiting ironics? Let's see this. Let's see this move. Let's break this move down here. LeBron attacks. LeBron attacking, which you all want him to do. Let's see what happens when he attacks here. Which is allowing deeper penetration. Boom. Come on, LeBron. Splits the defense. Attacks. What happens? Tyson Chandler flopping. That's what happens. And guess what? He's like, all right, well, Tyson Chandler, defensive player of the year, comes over, hands up, flops. I don't want to get the charge. Let's do this. Boom. What happens? Fuck out of here, bro. Even, even on moments like that, He's still finding a way to get the heat on the fucking scoreboard, bro. Look at this shit right here. Watch it. Marion has their last six points. Games inside the way. Another great pass from LeBron. Fuck out of here, bro. Ray getting his first start of the playoffs tonight. Deshaun Stevenson coming off the bench. He contributed part of good Mavericks bench in the first half. Anthony right up on Nowitzki. Nowitzki can't finish Ray the rebound. Nowitzki good load. He got a foul again. Here's James. James up and under with the left hand. Won't go. Gets his own rebound. Back to Wade and a foul. Okay. Now, this right here, um, this layup attempt right here, it was caused by a bad pass. Okay, so let's watch this. Ready? That is a bad pass. That's way too far ahead. So he catches it and he's like, oh, fuck. I can't even make a dribble right now because of how far ahead it is. So he's like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to just go for it. This is not a good layup attempt. This is not a good layup attempt. But again, it's not his fault, though. 
if he was dribbling up the court by himself, um, you know, against these two, he would have easily scored. He's LeBron, bro. I mean, we're, are we going to really act like this is not LeBron James, dude? But horrible pass. Like, it's been a a um, a thing I've been talking about this, this entire game. The horrible passing by LeBron's teammates. Or just the lack of passing, right? So he gets it. Gets fouled, by the way. Has Jason Kidd hanging on his back. We can watch it again in case you didn't see. Okay, so Jason Kidd hanging on his back, pushing off. Misses it, still gets his own rebound back. In, in th with three Mavs player there, still gets his own rebound. And then what happens? Leads to a basket. Leads to, leads to points. Like the play by LeBron, misses the layup, but sticks with the play, comes up with the offensive rebound, then hands it off the wave and in attack mode. Contact by Sean Mary. On the other hand, Dirk Nowitzki very upset that he's not getting those same calls as he drives to the cup. But fair is fair. Run back. You saw him deep down the court. Leads to points. Coming up on five minutes gone by here in the third. Slices through the defense, and he puts it in. Wild shot by Barea. What can you say, man? JJ Barea going crazy. I mean, I would, I would, I would applaud that. On the drive. Look at kids staying in front of him. Chris Bosh, the jump shot. No. Again, once again, LeBron gets doubled. Okay, you got Defensive Player of the Year Tyson Chandler, huge wingspan, seven footer. Comes over. What does LeBron do? Does he force it? Does he? Does he? Oh my God! I have to score here. I have to be aggressive and show throw up a bad shot. No. What does LeBron do? The high IQ, great player that LeBron is. What does he do, bro? He goes. Oh, you're gonna double. Okay. Boom. You're gonna sag off. You're gonna sag off Chris Bosh. Watch this then. Chris Bosh, the jump shot. No. Boom. Yo, mods, perma ban anyone who just wrote fat. Um, just ban anyone perma. I'm just wait before I play this. <laughs> Listen, we can joke around. You can joke about the game. You're not. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna see her just call me fat and 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 crazy shit, bro. Just perma ban them. Just I don't want them timed out. <laughs> We're not gonna sit here. You're not gonna insult me and talk shit in my own stream. You're just gonna get banned, bro. I don't know why you think you could talk like that to me, but. Ban, ban them, perma ban, perma ban, perma ban. And if you see someone do that, perma ban them, bro. Because all it takes is one fucking loser, then it takes one other loser, and then they're like, oh shit, we can do this? Oh fuck yeah, fuck you. You know what I mean? That's all it takes is like a couple fucking losers. We're seeing that the mods don't do anything, and then boom. You know what I mean? Knocks it down. What a game for Bosh. He's got 22. And here's what I don't understand. The help can't come from Tyson Chandler defending Chris Bosh. Look at this comment, though. He really is making the right play. Y'all just hating. Los is a little delusional, but nothing he did in the game was horrible. He blew a couple layups and passed. Again, even with that guy typing that I'm a little delusional, I don't even mind that comment because it's like, oh my God, look, Kevin James Zookeeper <laughs> in theaters July 8th. That was a god-awful movie. But anyway, um, I don't even mind that because it is true. There's no debating this. We've been watching the entire game. Every possession that LeBron has played, we've watched. Yes, has he made a couple mistakes? Every player makes a couple mistakes in a fucking game, bro. Dude has one turnover. Oh, does a charge count as a turnover? Or is it just a foul? Uh, is it? It does count. Okay, so he has two turnovers then because he um he had a charge. But again, the charge like it was a weird bang bang play with Jason Kidd, who's a great defender. So whatever, dude. Two turnovers. He's got great assists, great vision so far. He's getting doubled every time he tries to score, and he makes the right play. He has not done anything bad yet. Okay, he hasn't, dude. 
limited offensive guy. The help should come from him. Berea starting to feel it, flips it up. Does not get the roll, but Chandler right there. Where's the box out? Where's the box out? Who is guarding Tyson Chandler? Who is guarding Tyson Chandler here, bro? We need to watch this carefully, okay? Right? Look at Chris Bosch's defense on this possession, dude. Look at him. He's lost. Bosch is lost on this. Lost, dude. Look at this. Usually, you just you show a little bit or you back up, right? And then you recover. Look at Bosch. Lost. The Dude, both of them are gone. Your back is to the basket. You're lost, bro. This is a defensive breakdown from Bosch. And then, look. They're in here contesting. Yeah, he missed. But, bro, fucking now Tyson Chandler's wide open. He's a seven-footer, dude. Come on, man. Come on. J.J. Barea causing problems. But they've really found a leading to Barea's deep penalty. All right, LeBron with the ball. Doubled. Passes it. Point of the third. Wade. Shut off nicely by Chandler. Tries again. Pulls back. Has to fire. And he knocks it. Good ass shot. But again, you got to think about the mindset too, right? If you got a player like D Wade, who's an amazing all time player, right? If you're, Le if you're, it doesn't even matter if you're LeBron or not, but you're LeBron, right? You get double, dude, sw you swing that shit quick because the defense is going to be lacking by one man because he's doubling you. It's smart, dude, it, to give the ball to D Wade and let him go attack. It is smart. Now, if they're double teaming D Wade, then D Wade swings to LeBron, then LeBron needs to go try to attack or, or dish it off. Right? Like, it makes sense, dude. It makes sense. And even if it's someone who says it's not a double, even if it's not a full, full blown double, but they're like, you know, shading over towards you, it's still a double. It's still a double is coming, bro. That's a play that J.J. Barrea has been begging for. On his penetration, he's been complaining that Mike... No, 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 Neon, Neon. The thing is, dude, um, LeBron was a little productive, uh, not aggressive at all, though, but I'm going to be biased. It was a mid-game. For LeBron's standards, it was a mid-game. For LeBron's standards, it was. But acting like he had a colossal, uh, you know, like he, he completely was just like a shell of himself, at, like, to the point where you're saying, you know... You know, like those games where like Westbrook will will be like three for seventeen with a bunch of turnovers, right? Like a game like that, like some shit like that. Like you're acting like that's what LeBron. Well, that's what people act like LeBron did in this game. We're witnessing has LeBron missed? Is LeBron out there breaking every shot? He, he's not, bro. He's making the right pass to the open guy, bro. He has grabbed him. Lucky, at, oh my god, lucky a shot. Dude, I miss when the ESPN, like, uh, like, ticker down here was like this. This, this just brings back memories, bro. D-Wade attacking. LeBron, three ball. Good shot. I mean, good shot. Inside, nice pass. Marion can't finish the follow. Phillips, custodian, ball fake, bounce pass, drops it off to Sean Marion, and he continues. Somebody fell out of bounds, and LeBron had a help on that guy's man, and left Sean Marion open, bro. Bosh missing a chippy, dude. They've done a good job not letting him get a shot off. Trying to help in other ways. This time gets his shot off, draws the foul. Garbage. 
shot in a row. So the so what I mean by more aggressive is Joel Anthony shouldn't be able to defend him at the foul line. Put your head down and make a play. Find a way to get to the free throw line and establish a rhythm. Well, he did that time. And Dallas goes up by What movie was coming out? Brought to you by Warner Brothers Pictures Green Lantern in theaters June 17. Axe the social. Take shoot, you see. Oh God, that movie was awful. Terry's been aggressive. You have to get some points. Bro is averaging four points. And you're talking about JJ Barea, dude. Well, he's got ten rebounds as well. Five on the offensive glass. Aslam back in. Shot clock down to eight. Wade the drive. Chandler comes to help. Wade, nice adjustment using the left hand. At the James but a finish. All their points here in the third. Wade comes up with a steal. Another one. Nice feed. Gets at the James but a finish. And the defense leading the offense. They haven't had many of those here in this game. And you just notice how when they get a steal, they're gone. And that's how they normally start those runs. Uh, Rick Carlisle said they were hoping to avoid. Kid. Difficult shot. Didn't play them well. Go board, LeBron. You're Jason Terry coming off those screen and rolls. You got to come off the score. Shot won't count. A blocking foul call. Brian Cardinal trying to get in and draw the charge. I mean, I don't see anyone saying shit, bro. He's attacking, bro. Instead, he's called for his second person. Charge. You got to come off the score. Shot won't count. Terry coming off those screen and rolls. You got to come off. Dude's moving his feet, dude. Bro is moving his feet. <laughs> dude, come on, bro. Fucking slid his feet right before the, the contact, dude. Look at his feet. Stop. That's not a charge. Not even being biased, but don't even be... Come on, bro. So what's LeBron right now? So LeBron is two for eight right now. I don't remember seeing him miss three three. When did he miss three threes? I thought I coming off the score. Three threes he missed? Because of the length and the strength of this Miami defense. They're intense and they're into it. Absolutely. And it just shows you too. When Berea's not on the floor. Didn't see him shoot three threes. Yeah, when did he shoot three threes? Am I missing something? They don't have... I mean, dude, we've literally sat here watching the whole game. I, I saw him miss one. I don't know. I don't remember. Other than Marion occasionally, the ability to beat you off the dribble with quickness. James misses both free throws. Yeah, LeBron missed a couple free throws. Free throws, two of eight from the field, two of four from the free throw line. Heat's lead remains one, two and a half remaining in the third. Marion, difficult shot. Aslam the rebound, Chalmers back in as well for Miami with Jawan Howard, Wade and James. Wade dribbles it off his foot. up to Wade and he finishes oh perfect pass and Dwayne Wade throws it down you know Wade now with 25 in Miami's lead it's, it is a fucking great pass man it, like great vision here yeah analysis live press conferences after coverage his team up by three with under two to play on the third Tell Rick Carlisle trying to steal minutes right now because Dirk Nowitzki not on the floor prior to this. That was a bad scoring team, a bad offensive team. That's why he gets Dirk back in the game. Nowitzki had a great Look how crazy low scoring the NBA was, bro. This shit, man. It's almost the fourth quarter. 
players because you don't need all three every night to, to play well. They got two, Mom, three, you got Jason Terry on you, bro. You got Terry on you. There's the double. There's the fucking double. Once again, bro. And he got fucking doubled. Alright, the double didn't fully come. I apologize. I'm not trying to sound delusional. It looked like it was coming, though. It didn't come, though, but it looked like it was. He still scored, though. Good ass shot. This is what you do here. You got a smaller guy on you. You got a smaller guy on you. That's what you do. But has he had this look at all in this game? No, he has not. He has not had a little dude on him at all this whole game, bro. The smallest guy is Jason Kidd, who's 6'5", 6 6'6". 6 6. And, and he got double teamed. The other guy, Sean Marion, fucking 6'7". Come on, bro. half court set give the ball to James at the top of the key against the smaller Terry gets to his spot and just elevates up and over Terry James is at any moment see that's what I don't understand uh, uh, about this uh, era of basketball I mean maybe I, I don't know um, when it really started um, but you know getting why would you not do the shit where you're like purposely getting a switch and 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 getting a Berea on you or a Jason Terry on you and then letting LeBron go go crazy? Like why are you not doing that? This is just this is just bad coaching at this point. I mean, how do you not even think to do that? You know what I really started seeing it like crazy was the first Warriors Cavs series. That's when I really was like seeing the switch shit uh, where they were trying to get Curry on LeBron the whole time and trying to get those switches. Um, they did it in 2016 too. No, he said this is one of the unusual times that Jason Terry will ever be on. But you know, it just shows you how the rhetoric means nothing means absolutely nothing it's just noise all part of playoff basketball well final minute third quarter james fires away short rebound stevenson um didn't like that possession didn't love that possession but you know, you guys want him to be aggressive. He's a, he's he's trying to score. I mean, Haslam, of course, breaking. I mean, you know, this dude, man. Bro said it's too late. It's not even the fourth quarter, and they're winning. But dude said, oh, it's too late. All right, bro. Too late, man. You're right. Been working here in this third period. It's about a three or four tenths of a second different shot clock and game clock. Terry out to kid, extra pass, Nowitzki for three. Won't go. And the buzzer sounds ending the third period. You not doubt valid in Dallas. The hell? The hell's your problem? problem you know, some problems with blockout early, but we've, we've gotten them under control, and we just got to stay with it. Look at this, Dallas. Zero field goals in the last four minutes. I mean, look at Dirk right here. Four for 13. I mean, you don't hear shit about that, bro. Good shot. Good ass shot. That's a good shot. Yeah. That's a great shot. Yo, Zach, thank you for the five gifted. We gotta get a sub count up on the on the on the thing. When I get my overlays made, matter of fact, yeah, chat. When I get my overlays made, um, I'm gonna have it so that we can see our sub count. Um, and we're gonna try to go crazy with the sub count. We're gonna try. Now they have it as a 
loose ball foul. Kid really didn't have it. He deflected up in the air. So not a clear pass, just a regular loose ball. Let's see. To me, he deflected it, leaving the fast break. Well, and I think that's just like a controlled tip up on the offensive board. I think that is under control, uh, in control. That's the Heat's first turnover in the second half. First one in over 17 minutes. Jason Kidd, one of the all-time steals leaders in NBA history with a big one there. Perea. Stevenson for three. You know, that's another great point. Someone just said I blame Spolcher for playing him all game. Dude, you I love, you know, I think Spolcher is a good coach, but, you know, he got those two rings with LeBron. If it wasn't for that, would people call him a Hall of Fame coach? They wouldn't, dude. They just would not. It's because of rings. So, you know, saying, like, when I criticize Spolcher's decisions in here, in this series, it's, this is his first time in the finals. I think he made a lot of mistakes coaching wise. And bro, you just said it. He just played LeBron the whole game. Like, I, you don't think he's going to be tired by the end of the third quarter where you just saw him miss a shot and then in the fourth? Yes, dude. Come on, man. They've had great looks. Stevenson played the whole fucking game, bro. Shots to go down. Uh, people are raving about the Miami Heat defense. They're getting great looks. They just have to knock them down. Miller. He knocks one down, a three-pointer at the other end, and it's a seven-point game equaling the largest lead of the night. Make or miss lead. One end miss, other end make. Berea, Nowitzki, Chandler, Terry, and Stevenson. Nowitzki stripped by Chalmers and stolen. Here's James and a foul. This is not LeBron not being aggressive because he is. He's going. He's going to the hole. Gets fouled, bro. This is the third time this has happened in this game. Third fucking time this has happened. This is before the clear path foul, I think. Let me Google it. When did the clear path foul start? <clears throat> okay, so... Um, over the 1985, okay. Um, that's... Oh, here it is. Yeah, clear path to the basket foul. Prior to the 2014-15, uh, only a clear path foul was reviewable. The t Yeah, so so before 2014-2015, they basically didn't call clear path fouls. Um, yeah. They need a strong start here to this fourth quarter. Both team quality looks. One team misses it, the other team playing pool all by himself. Three ball, corner pocket. Miller, his second if you don't believe me, you could look right here. Prior to 2014-2015. James has eight rebounds, six assists, but just three of ten from the field. Chalmers. Haslam wide open. Knocks it down. Chalmers with another nice setup. His sixth assist of the night. And the backup point guard, big man. Thanks. Start in the opening minutes of this. And he's gotten a little corner three because he. Well, the Mavericks are going to need another big comeback. They want to avoid going down 3-1. They've done it so many times during these playoffs. Terry, the drive, goes right at LeBron James. Pretty play from Terry, who thought he got hit. Oh, and prior to that play, Mario... Where is the paint defense? 3-1. They've done it so many times during these playoffs. Terry, the Why is no one in the paint helping? Drive, goes right at LeBron James. Pretty play from Terry, who thought he got hit. Oh, and prior to that play, Mario Chalmers begins to trash talk as Jason Terry is trying to spur the crowd on. LeBron James looks at Chalmers and says, no, no talk. Let's finish the call. Of course, of course, LeBron being the level-headed person he is, Chalmers always got to fuck shit up, bro. Starts talking shit. You want to hype up Jason Terry? 
You wanna hype up the fucking dude? Yeah, bro. It's not. Look at the ball. James, that's a travel. How? Came down just before he released it. What? I we gotta watch this in slow mo, bro. We gotta watch this in slow mo. No. Bang bang. It's a bang bang. But I will say travel. James, that's a travel. Came down just before he released it. Bang bang call. They didn't have a turnover in the third quarter. They've got two here in the fourth. This veteran Mavericks team always confident they can come back. Terry shot rolls in. Two quick buckets and Eric's poster forced to call a touchdown well. fast. Five here in Dallas. Eric's poster is so fucking dramatic, bro. Like, great comeback game two against Miami. They have been incredible the way they keep fighting to the very end. This veteran gritty team. But this is a hard unit to guard for them. I think this is their best offensive team. But Wade's matchup is Terry right now. Chalmers misses Wade the rebound, puts it back up and in. Wade's rebounding in this series has been just superb. He's had double figures and rebounds two out of the three games. He's got six tonight. Great effort by Wade, but a poor job once again of the Mavericks. Solid defense, and you give up a second shot opportunity. Nowitzki, block. You cannot just be a force sent son in that air ball. He gets to the long stretch. What, if you're the Mavericks, you want him taking the next six shots if they're open. 12 points in game three, the last nine in the ball. Penetration of the heat. First time today. Wade turns around. Shotgun of the heat. I want you to look at LeBron here, bro. Look at LeBron. First time today. Bro, how do you not get him the ball right now? The closest person is in the paint. Look at this shit, bro. Instead, D Wade does a turnaround fadeaway, bro. LeBron, I mean, he wants the ball. He's calling for the ball. D Wade shooting the ball, bro. Wade turns around. Shot won't go. Chandler the rebound. It's not the right play for D Wade. It's not the right play. It's not the right play, bro. the difference the last two possessions he's made an aggressive attacking move two foul shots and that time a lefty lay Terry putting some pressure on Chalmers we're back to the zone again shot clock at six Aslan James cutting to the basket Bosch not expecting it bounces off his chest here's Terry back out to kid Novitsky inside the Chandler blocked we gotta rewind this one. Shot clock at six. 
So instead of Haslam giving him the ball, he waits, waits, slow ass pass. Now LeBron doesn't have a shot here. If you're quicker with it, he gets a shot here. But now LeBron has to pass the ball, which, by the way, I mean, if you look, they're both in the paint. Bosch is open here, right? Passes it to Bosch, and what does Bosch do? Fucking catch the ball, Bosch. I mean, you can't blame that on LeBron. You can't blame that on LeBron, bro. The pass is right to Bosch, right to his chest. He just, he's focused on, you know. You know, this is something that LeBron has learned. And, you know, I think with experience, a lot of players learn this. You can't leave your feet and throw a pass. You can't you can't get up in the air and then decide where you're gonna pass. You need to know where you're gonna pass. When when you when you leave when you leave your feet, the travel happen we just saw it on the other play. Um that's like the biggest problem. And I mean you learn that. If you play basketball, you learn that. That's something that coaches tell you very early on. Um, but you know, a lot of people have that bad habit and it very athletic people like LeBron, you know, th th they can get away with more, you know, so you can hop, you can get in the air and then make a pass. But when you're playing against good defense, it's hard to do that, bro. So look right here. Why is he jumping in the air, bro? This is just something that current LeBron just wouldn't do. Even the next year, LeBron Next year, LeBron, actually, this is just so shit he just wouldn't do. But still makes a great pass. Great play to D-Wade. Great pass. If I'm Eric Spolster, I go to sleep at night, sleeping good, because that guy's on my team. <laughs> Terry. Nowitzki drives, pulls up. That won't go. And a rebound for Bosch. Then it's gone by here in the fourth. Bosch, the jump shot. That won't go. You mean to tell me this isn't a good play? Look at Bosch. This is the right basketball play. Look at Bosch. Inside Nowitzki, nice pass, and he draws the foul. It was outstanding. With about a block and a half for it's a bit crazy. Oh, these, yeah. I was gonna say, these say Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry, but behind Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. I don't think that's crazy. What was that comment? Clearly. Jordan and Kobe? Yeah. I was gonna say, these say Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry. As Nowitzki knocks down the free throw. And people think I'm crazy, obviously. But I believe Dwayne Wade is the third best shooting guard to play this game. Behind, clearly. Jordan and Kobe? Yeah. I was going to say, these say Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry. Facts. But behind, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Facts. I don't think that's crazy. I said people. I don't count you as first person. <laughs> wow. Three rings, scoring title. I mean, horrible pass by Chalmers once again. This crowd so anxious right now. The Mavericks down two to one, hoping they can close this one out. Bosch fires away. Novitski another rebound. Great execution, though, by Miami to get that wide open Bosch shot. Bosch 9 for 19. He's got 22. It was hot in the first half. 
Just past the midway point of the fourth. Terry drive to the basket, lays it up, blocked. Taylor right there for the follow, and it's a one-point game. That block might have been better than the first block by Wade. Just past the midway point of the fourth. Terry drive to the basket, lays it up, blocked. Taylor right. Just past the midway point of the fourth. Terry drive yep. to the basket, lays it up, blocked. Great, great uh, crossover um, and drive by Jason Terry. Nothing you can do there, bro. Um, JT was fucking fast. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Give it to LeBron. Bro, look at this shit right here, bro. Give the fucking ball to LeBron. He's in the fucking post with Terry on him. Look at this shit. Damn, bro. And then what does Chalmers do? Drives into three people. Again, none of this possession, nothing here was LeBron's fault. And again, so far, so far, what have we seen LeBron's fault in here in this fourth quarter? He, he, Jason Terry blew by him on one possession and he had a turnover when he did that tra the travel in the beginning of the quarter, which was a bang, bang, like, eh, whatever, right? So we've seen, we've seen two mistakes from LeBron here. Only, and only one of them let, wait, wait, wait. No, Jason Terry got blocked. So I don't even know what that even, no, it didn't even, he didn't even give up a basket. Uh. You gotta understand too D. Wade right now Is having a fucking monster game Okay And at this point In them playing together Um It was, it was like up for debate Like who was the leader of the team Basically like there was a lot of like, oh, it's D Wade's team is LeBron. Like it, this wasn't like an established thing. Like, oh, this is LeBron's team yet, right? So you got D Wade having a monster game, thirty points, almost a great field goal percentage. I think the last time we saw it, it was like twelve for eighteen or some shit. D Wade's having a great game. So people are like, oh, dude, why is LeBron just standing? Dude, D Wade's playing amazing. I mean. What are you gonna do if you're LeBron? Be like, no, give me the fucking ball. I I want to I want to score. Like, dude, if D Wade is scoring pretty much every time he touches the ball, let him keep cooking, bro. Let him keep cooking. Five turnovers in the fourth quarter for Miami after not turning it over once in the third quarter. Didn't turn over once in the in the third. We saw one LeBron turnover in the first half. If you want to count the charge, you could say two. Fine, but LeBron is playing great. Not turn the ball over. In this quarter alone, look at Miami's turnovers, bro. Five, bro. And you just saw three in a row had nothing to do with LeBron. LeBron was not even involved in the play because they're not giving him the fucking ball, bro. Still plenty of time remaining. Terry Chandler misses the dunk but foul. Excellent pass by coaches. Produced great results. Rick Carl, you said it earlier, using Chandler as the man on the pick and roll. Chandler missing the free throw. He's four of seven from the line, but he has produced a double-double, 12 points, 12 boards. This veteran Dallas team never seems to get rattled. They credit Jason Kidd with a lot of that. Yeah, you know, you know people who do are like, uh, so, someone just wrote 2016 LeBron was much more competitive player, but y'all say this was his prime. Dude, I would I would rather have today's LeBron 
right now is at 38 than this than this LeBron. Because it's 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 mindset. It's not about the physical. We know he's a fucking freakish athlete, whatever. It's about your fucking IQ and your fucking uh your um uh experience. So that might I don't even know people are saying oh that's a hot take. I don't think that that's a hot take at all. I think you know 2018 LeBron, right? had had just gone to eight straight finals, right? I'm taking that LeBron who was older, but I'm taking him over 2011 LeBron, dude. I'm taking him over 2012 LeBron. 2011 2013 LeBron. I'm taking him, dude. It's because of the experience, because of the mindset. You know, LeBron LeBron has gotten better every fucking year, dude. Dallas by two, four thirty six remaining, fourth quarter, game four of the NBA Finals. ESPN's presentation of the 2011 NBA Finals on ABC, brought to you by Miller Light Aluminum. And this is a must-win game. Even though we up 2-1, I, I still feel like our back is against the wall. And this is a must-win game. Thomas to Bosch. Did the extra pass. Stevenson will try again. Hits another three. Chandler to what? Nine. Two minutes into the fourth quarter. Let's go, Brom. Dallas Mavericks staging another comeback. A 15-4 run. And very interesting. Taking Mario Thomas. And again, they're going. They're going to D Wade right now. Boy, and Miller dribbled it off him. It was deflected. It appeared that at last was touched by Miller, and that's their sixth turnover. Mike Miller turns the ball over again. No, nothing to do with LeBron. Nothing to do with LeBron for this this uh, this Miami collapse. They have six turnovers. LeBron is one of them. Here in the fourth quarter, I like what Dallas did out of the timeout. Went man instead of zone, respecting the coaching ability. And again, they are going to D Wade right now. They are going to D Wade because D Wade is having a great game. Got blocked again. Knocked out of bounds. Still Dallas ball with seven to shoot. But I like Novitski instead of shooting the pull up where he struggled tonight, continuing to attack all the way to the basket. Now that's a little. Novitski. Novitski splits the defenders. Lost the ball. Boy, Haslam has played him so well. Under four to play. Let sleeping dogs lie, Mike. <laughs> Yo, shoot that, Mike. Bro, you gotta shoot Miller this. Let sleeping dogs lie, Mike. Yo. Yo, how does he, wait. How does he not shoot this ball? Oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing? You're wide open for three. That's, that is insane. And so you pass it to D-Wade in the corner who's being guarded? That, that is Fucking insane, bro. That is insane, dude. Look at this pass. I mean, I mean, he he, he gets the open man. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. Now what? Now we got it. Now okay. Now you shoot this one. They should have ran more shit for LeBron. Shame on Spolstra and the coaching staff. Oh, D Wade's going. Yeah. Okay. D Wade is is fine. He's playing good. Why are we not running shit for LeBron? Like, fuck, man. This is 100 percent coaching. This is not this is not about LeBron right here. That's in. That won't go. And it goes out of bounds. Miami ball. Those are good looks. I'd still like to see Tyson Chandler and Terry in more pick and roll. Novitski looks absolutely exhausted right now. As Doris Burke reported earlier, has a fever about 102. He won't use that as an excuse, but he looks exhausted. And that's why I expect Jason Terry. You got to recognize the moment and get more aggressive offensively. Wade pulls up. Stevenson the rebound. Both teams now missing some shots. As we get under three minutes remaining in a two-point game. 
Terry. The Nowitzki back to Terry. A two-pointer. In and out. Middle of the rebound. Well, they're getting great shots. Good execution. Does not make it. Wade on the attack. Feeds inside the Bosch who lost it. And Wade gets it back. This game is ugly as fuck. James Fakes drives. Pull up jumper. Won't go. Miller the offensive rebound. rebound. Wade again. Throws it down the corner. Miller on the drive. Shot misses. What the fuck is Mike Miller doing this game, man? And I fucking love Mike Miller. But bruh. Shoot the fucking ball. This is two times. You're wide the fuck open. Down the corner. Miller on the drive. Driving to three people. When, by the way, by the way, you drew the defender. Now look at LeBron. LeBron's wide open. Dude's like, dude, he doesn't want the ball. He's literally like, bro, give me the fucking ball. His hands are out again. Dude, I'm telling you right now, we've been watching every possession here, bro. These are awful decisions by the the other players on the Heat. Awful, awful decisions, bro. Awful. Look at this shit. Look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. God damn, bro. You got three people to paint. Swing the fucking ball. Miller on the drive. Shot misses. And Levitsky the rebound. And a whistle and a foul. I mean, dude, we're literally doing like, we're like, this is like what uh, coaches and players do. They break down the fucking tape. We're watching the shit. You're noticing the fucking mistakes, okay? Granted, we've seen LeBron make, have a turnover in this fourth quarter. Yes, he did have a turnover. But besides that, he has not done anything wrong here, bro. He missed the jump shot. Great, dude. People are missing all over the place and throwing their bodies into three people. leading by two they are in the penalty i'll tell you what this is playoff basketball the intensity on both ends this is what you wait all season for this is championship effort they are missing some shots but everybody going at it right from the start tonight but especially here down the stretch and this is the value of getting into the penalty early in quarters so that it when there are loose ball fouls you're shooting like Novitsky is on these rebounding fouls, and they're going back to Mario Chalmers. All the practice that he does at the free throw line, day after day, year after year, comes to fruition here. Novitsky is such a spectacular free throw shooter, one of the best. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> Two clutch ones there, a 17 to four run. Novitski doing it again here in the fourth quarter. Get Trenton out of the chat. James out the Chalmers. Okay, okay, okay. Shot clock at five. Bosch. Novitski on him. Couple of fakes. And whacked nice, behind. Nice. Stevenson went for the block and fouled him. And Deshaun Stevenson. The paint is clogged, okay? That's just bottom line. You got nothing... You got no threats, so the paint is fucking clogged. Dude, look at the look at the spacing here, bro. Look at the spacing. There's no room at all this whole game for LeBron to drop. Look at this. Look at the bro, look at the paint. Look at this. And then and then oh, what does Bosch do? Fucking goes into the I mean how, Where's LeBron driving? Tell me where he's driving, bro. Where? Is he going left? Is he going right? Is he going middle? Is it where's he driving, bro? Shot clock at five. Bosch. Levitsky on him. Couple of fakes. Okay. Bosch going to the line. Let's see if he can make these. Stevenson well aware. This is not a smart play. Certainly a, a foul. The crowd doesn't like it, but he climbed the back of Chris Bosch and Bosch going to the line for two. How does a, how does a crowd not <laughs> like that call? Meanwhile, five minutes. That's up in game four. I expect to see the Dallas Mavericks on the other end go to that double screen and roll with Jason Terry handling the basketball. They've gotten outstanding success out of free throws. Two point game, 145 remaining. Kid holding. Thomas trying to knock it away. 
Terry looking out to Kidd. Stevenson puts up the three. Ball tried to tip by Chandler. Chandler puts it back up. The shot clock expired. But it Go. Like it hit the rim. Go. As James comes up the other way. That was the right play. Hit the rim and the ball was live. Should have taken the ball. Gosh, what are you doing, man? Haslam. That won't go way First of all, right Bosch with the most lazy ass screen, right? Now, you roll, bro. You roll, you pop immediately. What does Bosch do? He gets frozen again, dude. What's he doing? He's standing there. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Should have taken the ball back out. You wait for the defense to recover. Now, Le LeBron has to pass the ball up. I mean, this is a good look. Haslam, little mid range. takes it away Dallas clinging to a two-point lead as we come up on a minute remaining Nowitzki to Terry for three another great look Chandler the offensive rebound great effort by Tyson Chandler 16 rebounds for Chandler who's gonna knock down the big shot so many good opportunities shot clock at seven Kid. Stevenson for three. Another miss. Rebound fought for. Chalmers comes up with it. Ahead to Wade. Wade blocked from behind, but a fast. 80 82. What does LeBron do? Chalmers comes up with it. Finds D Wade. Great full court pass. Ahead to Wade. Wade. Foul. Blocked from behind, but a foul. With 30 seconds remaining, Wade will shoot two to try. I understand. All right, let's see. Not balancing the floor. And taking away those runouts. You see Wade from the line, five of seven. Now that's a heck of a pass. An incredible catch. And is that Loki a flagrant today? Because he hit him in the head. So there's six point one difference shot <clears throat> clock and game clock. And as Jeff said, a two for one. So Wade will go to the line. Dallas down by nine with two minutes gone by here on the fourth, making another superb comeback. But can they finish it off? Can they close it out? And even the series gets it to go. These fans are rocking here at the American Airlines Center. You see Wade getting behind the line of defense. An opportunity to knock down another free throw to tie this ball game. Rick Carlisle says he wants a timeout. Novitski the rebound. And Carlisle gets his timeout. Well, with can't blame LeBron for that one. Remaining. You know, this colossal collapse, which I hear Skip Bayless say, which, again, you know, you, you hear people refer to this. They, they reference this eight-point game. Oh, my God, he fucking collapsed. Dude, if you're watching this game, this is the most sloppy game on both sides, both teams. LeBron has one turnover in this quarter, right? And he's made great passes that led to points, that led to baskets. Okay. And again, Miami, because of the 5.3 difference, they do not have to foul. Dallas by one. Mavericks ball when we come back. Eric second was not the size of third. Hanging up. James is Either team of the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, here we go. Getting the basketball in the hands of Dirk Nowitzki. Here we go. The clock to dwindle down. Don't put too much time on this clock and give the Heat a chance to come back. And there it is in the hands here of Nowitzki. Here we Nowitzki. go. But he's got to be patient and just hold it. Haslam right up on him. He's going too early. Help. Layup, he puts it in. Fucking help him, man. It's fucking Dirk. He's going too early. Drives underneath, layup, he puts it in! Nowitzki makes it a three-point game! Timeout Miami! Sometimes even when you're wrong... I mean, that's just Haslam getting cooked by one of the best bigs of all time. It's top three power forward of all time. It's just Haslam getting cooked, bro. That's it. He's going too early. Drives underneath, layup, he puts it in! Nowitzki you know? I mean, dude, right here, right? Like, LeBron can't leave Jason Terry...
because he's going to hit a three. It's Bosch's responsibility to roll to the middle right here. Now, if if Dirk is able to uh, dish it off uh, in traffic uh, to Tyson Chandler, then you got D-Wade on the, on the backside to help. You can maybe get a block from behind something, right? LeBron... Could he have like hedged more, maybe? But then Dirk would have made, possibly hit past it, and then you give up a three ball. You know what I mean? Early drives underneath, layup, he puts it in. Nowitzki makes it a three-point game. LeBron, I will say, and I'm not defending. I'm not. I'm not being delusional. LeBron should have, should have, you know, fucking like faked it. But he should not have fully committed to Dirk. That's that's Bosch's uh, uh, responsibility to get into the middle. This is Bosch's responsibility. He's on a weak side. He needs to rotate over. LeBron is on the side with, D with, with, with Dirk. He does not need to dip into the paint, bro. He's going too early. Drives underneath. Layup, he puts it in. Nowitzki makes it a three-point game. Timeout Miami. No, I said, I said. I said LeBron should have, like, you know... Uh, I think uh, stunted over or whatever, but you know, where was Bosch at, man? He fucking fell asleep. Bosch is worried about fucking Tyson Chandler. You gotta help out, man. But again, LeBron should have stunted over. with Dallas clinging to the one point lead drives and gets it off the glass Novitski 10 points in the fourth quarter a ninth exactly Bosch comes up to help if somehow Dirk is able to to dish it off to Tyson Chandler dude foul the fuck out of Tyson Chandler bro foul him get send him to the line he maybe makes one you know what I mean? Or or Dirk's going to turn the ball over or something. You at least got to jump in. Bosh on the weak side does not help. It's Bosh's fault on this play. Yes, LeBron should have stunted in, but he did not. It's not LeBron's fault that, that uh, Haslam got fully cooked. It's not his fault, bro. Run by the Mavericks. And 14.4 seconds remaining. Miller in with James Fallon. But... As Miami's downsized, they have so many three-point shooters. They can't also forget about Chris Bosh. He's got the ability to step out and make the three. And to me, I would foul. I'd make it a, a free-throw shooting contest. Good ball denial. Kid on Wade. Kayla gets up on him. Wade on the drive. Attacks the goal and throws it down. Nine seconds remaining. And Rick Carlisle will call his... You don't want to end the game by taking a, a three-point over Tyson Chandler. There's plenty of time. Put your head with a spin. The ball with it. There's oh. no question. Listen. Just come. He is a firm. And the back on the back. This is a hard. He else to make free. Terry comes to the ball. Goes in the backcourt. Terry running away from James. And he fouls him with 6.7 on that. Next and oh, where it was all bounce. And then catch it. 82% career free throw shooter. Clutch right there. Two-point game. That could have been the game-winning dunk if there were Chandler free throws. Yeah. This would make it a three-point game. Miami still has a timeout left. Jason Terry, two clutch free throws. And Dallas with a three-point lead with 6.7 remaining. Miami will now be able to advance the ball in the front court. All right, Jeff, now there's 6.7. Jeff and Mark... Do you foul? Not let them get a three-point attempt. There's no question in my mind. I'm fouling. Too many things have to go right if I foul for me to lose. And I agree with you if the catch is with their back to the basket. But there are so many good players now who, as they see you fouling, if you're faced up to the basket, get into that shooting motion. This is what you go over in special situations from day one of training camp for just these moments. And these are not as easy of decisions as people think because there's so many variables that go into it. Where you catch it, how you catch it. 
third straight game in these finals going down to the final shot the final buzzer Mike Miller will inbound and Mike if they score on a if they have to take a two Dallas has got to realize they have to get the ball out of bounds and inbound successfully both teams out of timeouts Chandler the seven footer gets up on Miller on the inbounds pass and to me, I wouldn't even be playing inside the three-point line. Stretch your defense, allow them to have anything easy. There are no timeouts. Miller looking, finds Wade. Wade lost the ball, goes to the backcourt, gets it to Miller. Miller puts it up. Air ball. And that's it. The Mavericks have even the series. What a game and what a series. You know, you know, I mean, we can analyze, we can break down LeBron in this play too, if you want. LeBron right here could have been hit with the ball, right here. Right here. Um, and, you know, would he have shot a three? Who knows, but he's calling for the fucking ball. He's like, yo, 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 hand up. So for, for, for the people who say, um, oh, this was, you know, uh, LeBron at a total meltdown and all the other words that they use, um, it, I don't think they've watched the game. I think they say, oh my God, he scored eight points in a game. Nothing he did here was wrong. There's nothing that where he made the wrong decision. We know that he had the turnover in the beginning of the fourth. Um... He there were no turnovers in the third quarter. He scored in the third quarter. He assisted on many baskets. Um, he uh, had a clutch pass to D Wade um, when he was eighty two eighty, and D Wade missed one of the free throws uh, to tie the game. They wouldn't have been in this situation um, if D Wade didn't miss that free throw. Um, so you know, and I'm not. I'm not blaming D Wade. I'm not blaming LeBron. I'm not blaming Bosch. Those three, they all played well in this game, in my opinion. I think the three of them played well. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't really see any horrible, egregious de decision making that, you know, that 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 ruined the game for those three. The others, though, Mike Miller not shooting wide open shots. Chalmers throwing the ball out of bounds. Um, you know, Joel Anthony, uh, um, who else? Oh, and Haslam. Those guys are the reason that they lost. LeBron, D. Wade, and Bosch are is not the reason that the Heat lost this game. Um, and certainly only blaming LeBron because he didn't score that many points is not the reason they lost. He was responsible for over one fourth of the Miami Heat's points okay um combined with his points and assist and and not even com the hockey assist um or you know a pass to someone who gets fouled he's responsible for over 20 points which is one fourth of the points okay um so the overall takeaway from this game is could lebron have been more aggressive yeah I think that there should have been a game plan in place to uh, give LeBron the opportunities um, because when you got these bigs in the paint, right? When you look at today's NBA, it doesn't look like this because it, almost everyone can shoot the ball. Um, and the, the floor is spread out a lot. So, you know... You want LeBron to be aggressive, driving, whatever. There's there's so many people in the fucking paint, bro. Um, you know, I understand that D-Wade was going off, and they decided to go, oh, you know what? Let's just ride D-Wade today. Pause. D-Wade's, you know, playing great. Let's just go with D-Wade. And it didn't work. And that was a coaching decision, um, ultimately, um, to stop, you know, running shit for LeBron. Um... So, you know, 
do I do I do I blame uh, Spolstra? I mean, you know, it's a 50-50. It's like, all right, do we go just do we, do we go with this or do we, uh, you know what I mean? Um. So, why didn't D Wade have a problem driving? D Wade was not getting double and triple team, bro. I mean, again, I'm not gonna re rewatch it. We just watched a two hour game. This will go up on YouTube. You can go watch it. Um, D Wade was not getting double and triple teamed, um, and a lot of points that D Wade had came from LeBron making that pass. Uh, like it just did. Like, you know, it's simple math. If LeBron is staying there and two people or three people are focused on LeBron, then he makes a pass, even if it's not directly to D Wade. But if he makes the pass and then that goes to D Wade, dude, D Wade is gonna have a much easier time scoring than if it was just D Wade by himself with a bunch of scrubs, because no one's gonna double team the scrubs. You know what I'm saying? So, being how great LeBron is, he was a uh, he was a he was he was good bait a lot. He was good. Um, you know, uh, drew a lot of attention, and that's you know. That's why the the Heat were even, you know, in this game, bro. I mean, D Wade is not able to have that type of game without the attention being drawn to somewhere else, bro. Um, you know, so I don't know. I think uh, I think overall, my takeaway is 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 simple. LeBron did not have as bad of a game as people say. I will say the negatives were that. He wasn't as aggressive as he should have been. Um, even, you know, with nothing being really ran through him or called for him, uh, he wasn't being aggressive as he should have been. Um, his shooting tonight wasn't great. He missed, uh, you know, open, he missed an open three ball. Um, he made a couple tough, you know, he made the, the tough jumper over uh, the defender. I think it was Jason Terry, I'm not sure. He missed a couple of those. Um, but like I said, I saw two or three turnovers in the whole game. So it's not like he's running around throwing the ball out of bounds and doing all this crazy shit. Um, he played good defense for the most part. There were a couple breakdowns where Terry got past him. And then that play at the end with Dirk, which I still think is not his fault. Because he's not even guarding Dirk. And he's not on the weak side to help. So it's not his fault. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think that this game is as bad as you think it is. I think when you think of the NBA now and you, and you see how much people score now and you're like, oh my God, how do he have eight points? I mean, we just watched the game. I mean, you just saw how he had eight points. Um, you know, he found the open man. So to the positives now, he found the open man a lot. He made the right pass a lot, even if it didn't equal a basket. He made the right play. He made the right pass um, a lot. Um, so would I say that this is his worst game ever? I wouldn't even say that, bro. Uh, I, I've seen I've seen LeBron have very bad games where he literally like chokes in the fourth quarter, like missing uh, <clears throat> missing free throws to tie the game. Uh, you know, missing a layup, getting blocked. Um, you know, having horrible back-to-back -back turnovers in key possessions. I've seen LeBron have much worse uh, games than this game. This is not LeBron's worst game. Um, I, and I and I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say it's a top five worst game. I would say maybe for the circumstances, because it's a finals game, uh, it becomes it, you could put it in there. Um, and again, the people who are sitting in this chat. And just trolling, I get it, you're a troll. Most of you don't even care, like you don't even watch basketball, a lot of you. Um, which is something that I had to come to terms with, is like, wait a second. the pe A lot of people who are trolling about this don't even care or watch. So it's like, you're just gonna troll and, and you know, you're good trolls. But sitting here saying that I'm trolling, we both just sat here and watched this entire game. If you th really think that that was LeBron's worst game, if you really think that, I just, A, don't think you've seen enough LeBron games, and two, I don't think you understand basketball to understand that he was responsible for 
one fourth of the team's points. Okay, maybe even more. I don't know. Um, and he played good defense. Like I said, there were a couple possessions where uh, you know the one with Terry drove by him, but for the most part, dude, he played good defense. He got boards. You know, I don't, I don't see this being on LeBron. I, I really don't see this being on LeBron. I, I, I really, I really. As much as I as as I know you want me to like I dude I just I don't see how that this game is on LeBron when you saw so many mistakes from the other players. So, you know, can you ban the guy who just said I'm mentally ill, bro? Come on, bro. This isn't fun. Dude, mentally ill? Dude, like how how are we going to have how are we going to have even a real conversation? If you won't even like, it's not like you're responding to shit I'm saying and be like, oh no, dude, this is what happened to this. You're just insulting me. Like, so I'm ignoring the people in the chat who are just straight up insulting me and saying that I'm delusional. You're not saying anything. Someone wrote, oh, he was three for 11. Like that was your, that was your take that he was three for 11. Like that was your big take on it. When Dirk before that basket he had at the end of the game was literally four for 15. So Dirk was playing a worse game, literally playing a worse game. And they just happened to be the team that wound up with a couple more. You're not, dude, this was a close game. This, anyone could have won this game, bro. This could have gone either way. A couple little changes. This could have gone either way. This wasn't a blowout, bro. This is what I mean by this wasn't LeBron's worst game acting like they got blown out. They had a chance to win this game, okay? So if they came in here and got destroyed, then you have a, a then you can be like, okay, yeah. Dude, bro, D Dirk was four for 15. That's worse than three for 11, bro. So overall, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I don't think that this is LeBron's worst game. I think there were many other games that were worse, uh, regular season and playoffs. Um, and I think that, uh, we need to stop with, uh, bringing this game up and bringing up this finals because this fucking Mavericks team, dude, for the time, 2011, this was a great team. They beat the defending champion Lakers with Kobe. Um, they beat OKC Westbrook, uh, you know, KD and, and they beat Brandon Roy, um, on the Portland trailblazers who, if you don't know about Brandon Roy, look him up. If it wasn't for injuries, he would have been a, a an amazing player in the NBA. Um, if it was not for injuries, so l please look up Brandon Roy if you get a chance. If you don't know who Brandon Roy is, I know a lot of you do know, but if you're younger, maybe you don't know who Brandon Roy is. Um, but they beat all those teams to get here, and then they beat the Heat, who you know, listen. Besides D Wade, LeBron, and Bosh, the Heat team was was garbage, bro. That team was the the, the 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 help was garbage, and a lot of times like you know D Wade had a great game, LeBron had a you know okay game, Bosh, I think Bosh and D Wade made up for the lack of scoring for LeBron, but it was all the other players, bro. Um. So, all in all, I think once they improved the team, uh, 2012, 2013, 2014, they were a much better team. They won two straight finals. Um, and you know, I think that LeBron improved every year and he does improve every year, even with, uh, him getting older and his athleticism going down, he still somehow gets better experience IQ, you know, all this shit. So, uh, anyway, anyway, yeah, that's my take on this game. Uh, I'll see you.